All right guys, so I was too lazy to put on my fake nails before this video, so I didn't. Uh, I'm just not feeling it today. So that's why my nails keep going from short to long because I keep using these static nails and that's the reason. Anyways, hi guys, my name is Reagan. If you're new here, um, if you're not, hi, welcome back. So today is what Monday Mashup was invented for. I have a lot of just really random bits and bobbles I wanna talk about, do some first impressions with you guys. Uh, yeah, I even have a giveaway. So let's just roll in and talk about the giveaway and then we'll get started with my first impressions. I have some new Care Wise, some new Fit Glow, a new, uh, to me at least, Henne luxury hand cream and then at the end I'm going to be reviewing all of the products that we got in the detox box from this month. So yeah, let's just roll in and start. All right guys, so True and Luscious saw my video where I talk about their face palette and they've offered to host a giveaway with me giving away two of these palettes. So I'm going to do this giveaway here on YouTube. I really have liked this palette. I think it's a good one. It's one of the few artist palettes that I really like. I think they did a good job with it. So I'll have all the rules down below in the description box and everything, but you basically just need to be subscribed to me. And then in the comments down below, tell me what you've been doing during quarantine to stay entertained and happy. So yeah, uh, I really like this palette. Thank you to them for doing this with me and enter down below. All right, so we're just going to do some first impressions. I have two new Fit Glow products I wanna try with you guys. So this one's new to me. It's their new SPF 30 Vita Shield Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. So I have tried a few of Fit Glow's skincare products and they haven't been my favorite. So I'm kind of interested in seeing what this is like because I've been having a heck of a time with sunscreen. So. I'm just going to do two pumps like this. It doesn't smell like anything, which is kind of nice. And I'm just going to rub this into my face. It has a little bit oily of a finish, but yeah, that has not any white cast. So that's something for sure. Yeah, uh, just first impression. No smell, which I like. No white cast, which I love. It is a little bit oilier in finish, so that's something that I, I'm just indifferent to that actually. I don't care that much. So I will use a more matte foundation with this, just kind of balance it out. But yeah, I do really like that that has no white cast and I don't really like a ton of scent. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Just feeling the residual on my fingers, it's pretty lightweight too, so. Yeah, that's kind of what I look for. So I will be using this and I'll let you guys know kind of further thoughts as I use it more. So I bought this for myself. This is their new Eye Bright. Um, I'm just interested in it because it's like their concealer and I actually have really liked Fit Glow's concealer. So it's a color corrector. I actually do have a little bit of darkness under my eyes today. I didn't sleep very well last night. So we're just gonna use this today. It has more of a yellow finish to it. And they have another one too that's more of an orange finish. So I'm excited about this and a lot more than I was about their ones that came in the little spears because they had those and they were more of a cream product. This is more similar in formulation or supposedly more similar, we'll see as I blend it out, to their concealer. I'm excited to try this. I'm just interested in it. I really like the finish of it. Yeah, and that does a little something to kind of perk up the peepers. I actually do think that does kind of brighten up or something. So yeah, I'll use this in Top Shelf Tuesday. I just purchased it because I was interested in it. I saw it was new and I wanted to give it a go. I'm not sure, are you supposed to use a concealer over a product like that? I'm going to use the Fit Glow Concealer just to conceal all my blemishes, but that doesn't leave behind a yellow color, so I'm not going to. I don't know, let me know down below if I should use concealer over it. All right, and then I'm going to go, I always actually do this, I just never really tell you guys, I'm going to go wash my hands because I'm all done doing my base, and I usually do this just because I use my fingers in the beginning to blend everything out, so I will be right back. Okay, and then Integrity Botanicals sent me this Hene Citrus Luxury Hand Cream, so I just washed my hands, so. What if not now to use it? There you go, got the little metal thingy off. 
So this is in Scent Citrus. I like Kanae's stuff because they have really nice packaging. I think it's kind of like sexy and sleek. And it's not super oily, which is nice. It's more of a whipped hand cream, like a whipped butter type texture. So yeah, that's nice. I will keep that up here to use after I wash my hands during that step of my makeup routine I never show on here. And then I have these. I'm going to be doing a whole review of the new Kiara Wise products, but I just want to do a first impression of a couple of them. So I'm going to use this guy today just to kind of see how the formulation is. So this is a new Kiara Wise product. So it's half blush and half highlight. So if you've seen any of my Kiara Weiss reviews before I've done, I'll link one up here. I love their highlight and their blush. These are two of my favorite products from them. I do also like their foundation. Um, what else do I really like from them? I think their base products are true favorites. I used their setting powder today. I ordered myself a new pan of it because the old one had expired because I had it for so long. So I got a new pan and refilled. But yeah, I'm excited to give this a go because again, the blushes and highlights have been some of my favorites. So this is their Flush and Glow Inner Light Blush and Highlight. So they also have ones that have bronzers in them too. I'm just not a huge cream bronzer, bronzer fan. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this. It's more of a corally shade. I have this like black fuzzy thing. I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's nice. It's nicely pigmented. You don't need to use a lot. That's one thing I really have liked about their blushes. I actually learned how to use cream blush by watching this Kira Weiss video that she did for YouTube or something and you're supposed to really focus it right on the high points of your cheeks or the sun would potentially burn you. So yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like, a little bit of a flush. All right, and then one of the things, I mean, I'm going to use the highlight, but I just want to show you guys this part first. I have this in empties. I need to empty all these out. But I was thinking whenever I open this, like, is that smaller than the other ones? It's not. It's kind of an optical illusion because it's split in two. Um, it's the same size as the blush and highlight. So if you do have the blush or highlight packaging that needs to be emptied out, you definitely could fill it with one of these and you kind of get a bang for your buck with a two for one, right? I'm going to use the highlight. So I think this is the highlight I had, but in this kind of packaging, it's like, yeah, I love this. So glad to have this back into my life. I actually like these individual pans more than I liked this collector's kit thing I got. I feel like the collector's kit got more shoved to the back of my makeup collection and I just didn't use it as much. When I have little pans like this, I'm more likely to throw that individual product into Top Shelf Tuesday and stuff and just really use it. So I will be using both of the ones that Integrity Botanicals sent me throughout the week. I have Vibrant Ray and then I also have Inner Light. And I will do a whole review of these with you all just once I've worn them more. But yeah, I do really like the idea of having them all in one place. And I feel like I'd actually empty out the pan like that. Um, just because I have really liked the blush and highlight. So kind of a nice combo for me. And then because I ordered um, that Kiara Weiss powder, I also got some samples from Integrity Botanicals when I made that order. So I bought some things from them and then they also sent me some things. So if you're confused by that, that's what I'm trying to say. So I got some Ritual Defeat Ash and Ember Eye Soots. And then I also got one of their eye soots and this is their Celestial Eye Soot. So I've used the Ash and Ember ones before, but I wanna use this Celestial one with you guys because it's a different texture than the Ash and Ember ones. This one is a lot creamier and it's kind of holog, yeah, that's like holographic. Wow, that's crazy. That's like, because it looks like it's just this creamy white and then on my lid it just has a lot of dimensions and it's really fun. It kind of reminds me of like 80s Stranger Things or something. I'm not 100% what it reminds me of but something like that. I'm just gonna do a one color eye look because I don't know what else I would put with that so that's what I'm going to do. Okay so I'm going to do eyeliner and mascara and then we'll do lips together because I'll finish out with the new Kiara Weiss lip products they released. Celestial shade is awesome. It's so cool. I just hadn't seen, you know, anything really like that 
before. I was gonna say in clean beauty, but I'd say in beauty in general. So it's really fun. All right, and then I do have some new Kira Weiss lip products. So I have their lip liner and shade soft. So we're just going to use this together. I have a lip liner from them. I think it's Rose. Goes on very smooth and creamy and it's pretty darn pigmented. I feel like I could just fill my lips in with this, but I'm going to use the lipstick because they've reformulated. They haven't reformulated. They've come out with some new shades that have a different formulation. So they're all nude shades and I was researching this a little bit and I have shade Thoughtful. So it's this pink nudie shade. And we're just going to use it together. This is a different formulation than their original lipsticks, which you guys know I didn't really like. So let's use this together and just see. Well, this is going on a lot creamier than my original lipstick I had from them. It's a lot more opaque too. Well, I actually am pretty impressed with that. That is much better. Like night and day compared to the first lipstick I ever tried from them. I look very mod. That's how I look. Like my whole look is so freaking mod right now. I just need to have like a fringe cut and a suede mini skirt and I'd be good to go. Alrighty guys, so now I'm going to talk about this month's April 2020 detox box, but I'm just going to do a quick run through of what I thought of last month's box. So last month's box, I have the card right here. We got the Innersense, um, their Pure Harmony Hair Bath and Pure Inspiration Conditioner. I was very surprised by these products. I haven't really loved Innersense's hair care in the past, their shampoo and their conditioners. I've liked their styling products, but I was actually pretty impressed with their shampoo and conditioner because it really did cleanse my scalp and condition my hair. I've tried their color line and then I tried their hydration line. I wasn't too keen on them. They just didn't work very well for me. So I was really impressed with that. We also got their Sweet Spirit Leave-In Conditioner. I'm going to be sending that to my niece because it works better for her hair than for mine. I need something that's a little bit heavier. That just, it wasn't cutting it for me. I need something that's just a little bit more maybe emulsifying as well. So yeah. And then we got their I Create Waves and their Refresh Dry Shampoo. I haven't opened these yet because I already have them open. I haven't opened the ones from the detox box. So I have them right here and I have these before. I really have liked I Create Waves. It has a nice smell to it as well. It's just like a fresh lavendery scent. And this does add a lot of volume and it does create kind of just a nice wavy look. And then I do have their Refresh Dry Shampoo. This is a very different formulation. It's not powder. It is a wet formulation. It's a foam and it's just different. I have really liked it. I'm about halfway empty with both of those. So I will keep the other ones that I got in the detox box and replace them when they're empty with those because I have liked those products. So overall, March 2020, good month for the detox box. One thing I'm just going to say before I get into the April 2020 box is I have really liked how the detox box has kind of a variety where last month we got a bunch of hair care. This month we got more lifestyle like stuff. So it's just kind of nice to get different things, you know, so that's just random thought I wanted to share. So this month we got a bunch of sustainable swaps. So the first thing that we got, or that I'm just pulling out and talking about is the Audacity 552M shampoo bar. So the meaning behind the 552 is apparently 552 million plastic shampoo bottles end up in landfills each year. So they created the shampoo bar to reduce that number so I think that's pretty cool. So this is supposed to replace up to three plastic bottles and has 50 to 80 washes. I did use this last time I washed my hair. I'm on DA3 hair and I actually was very impressed with how it cleansed my scalp. Um, I haven't loved shampoo bars in the past. I tried one from Lush. Uh, I think I tried a couple from Lush and they just didn't work that well for my hair type. It still left my scalp pretty gunky and still kind of have some oils and sebum in it. So yeah, but this one, I'm, I've am i only tried it once. I'm pretty impressed with it. We'll see if it really does last 50 washes or times or whatever. And it smells like, uh, words Reagan, orange. It smells like oranges. So it's kind of a creamy orange scent. So maybe like a orange cream lifesaver. That's what it reminds me of. So have like this. This is $29 full price in the box. The box has different tiers. I think the 
cheapest tier is if you pay up front for it for six months. And then if you buy it individually, month to month, I think it's like 50 bucks. So it just depends on what tier you're on. So that's a pretty good chunk of the boxes worth. And then we got this. So I haven't used this yet. It is the BKR water bottle. So I said in my unboxing of this on Instagram, that one thing I'm impressed with is I didn't know that you could wash this with this sleeve on it in the dishwasher. That's why I've avoided getting one of these because I would always have just thought, how am I going to wash this? It's cool we get it in this box. My only thing and why I haven't opened it yet, I thought about this. I might just do a giveaway with this because this will not fit in my cup holder in my car and I have other water bottles. So that's just something for me that it's super, super cute. And that's why I haven't used it yet because I'd rather share it with someone who really wants this or needs it. But I'm, I'm thinking about that. Maybe I will decide to use it. It is super cute, but we'll see. We'll just have to see with this one. One of the things about these silicone sleeves is everything sticks to them. It looks like I'm looking at this up close and it looks dirty and I've only had it sitting on my desk. So... I don't know what it has on it, but I haven't used it or anything. Okay, and then the next thing, I have been using this every day, and I really like this. This is the Meow Meow Tweet Rose Geranium Baking Soda Free Deodorant Stick. So, this smells like rose geranium. If you know what that smells like, it's not quite rose. It's more of a floral scent that's a little off rose-ish. And this stuff works, guys. I've tried other... Uh, Police are driving by my house. I wonder what's up. Anyways, I've tried other deodorants that are baking soda free and I have not liked them. This one works. Truly it does. One of the things about this, I've had this stick in the past, but I had the one with baking soda. These dry out a little bit faster and their expiry date is three months once you open it because of the cardboard. It's super sustainable. You can just throw it in your compost or in your mainstream recycling system when you're done with it. But keep that in mind that it's one that you just have to only use this product once you open it. So I have really liked this and I've been impressed with it. I have liked Meow Meow Tweet stuff in the past and I love a good deodorant stick. I don't really love the jarred deodorants. I just don't like getting my fingers in there, but this one's a good one. Okay, and then we got a Bagu bag. So I haven't used this yet, but I will. I think it's super cute. It has this melon pattern. It's really cute for summer and spring. The thing is right now we can't take reusable bags into our grocery stores because of COVID. So yeah, I will use that when things are clear. It's just right now I'm not. I'm glad we got it in the box. It is $12 originally. The Meow Meow Tweet deodorant is $14 originally. So I will use that bag eventually. It's just right now, you know, you guys understand the time, right? And then we did get a thing of David's Premium Natural Toothpaste. One second, let me just show you something. This is how much I love David's toothpaste. It's expensive. Whenever I can get it in a box like this, if I can get it on sale, I purchase it. And now I'm stocked up and I won't purchase any more for quite a while until I at least use three of these. It's my favorite. It's a Don's favorite. It leaves my breath super fresh. My favorite actually is the one that's included in the detox box. It's just their regular peppermint one. Uh, I've been trying their charcoal one. It's fine. I don't really feel like it has the whitening power that it says it has, but it still has the same formulation that leaves your breath really fresh and your teeth really squeaky clean. So I love David's toothpaste. <laughs> Clearly you guys can see that. And then last but not least, we did get a bamboo toothbrush. I haven't opened this because I'm saving this for travel. I love to have something more sustainable like this during travel times because I might not travel for another, you know, six months between using this. So I can use it for the one to two weeks I'm traveling, toss it, um, and compost, or I'll read about how you recycle this properly. But I will find a way to make sure this breaks down, you know, in a timely manner. But because of that, I don't want to use plastic toothbrushes because I'm only using them for two weeks because I just don't want this to sit then in my travel bag for six months and I don't use it again. That's just bacteria central. So yeah, I'm glad to have that. And I'll use that again when I travel and I'll include it in an empties then just my thoughts. I have tried this one brand that I didn't love their bamboo toothbrushes, so I hope I like that one. So overall, I do think that this month was a good value from the detox box. It was just a different box and I really did like it. So I'm wondering if you guys got it, your thoughts on it. 
again, it's just different. And that's one thing I've liked about them is their variety. So guys, let me know your thoughts down below. And yeah, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Enter the giveaway and have a wonderful day and stay safe and healthy wherever you are. Bye guys.